guys welcome back to another anime review and today we're gonna do the sacrificial princess and the king of beasts so this ha is already a long-running manga it started out in 2015 until 2022 and then an anime came out just this april of 2023 so there is a lot of content for it already but the anime focuses on the when our protagonist got sacrificed to the king of beasts just as the title said so it's the story is pretty much like beauty and the beast with a more mature twist to it because you know um i'm talking about the Dis disney beauty and the beast because you know it's very like for children but this has although it has innocence at the beginning you'll see once you watch it that there are hints of a little bit of um smut so the drawing as you can tell is like pretty old school but don't let that fool you because the story is pretty good and it has it does have a pretty good plot so i'm not sure if i should like give you a summary of it because it will spoil mm, so i'll just put like i'll start with a spoiler warning to let the ones to let you guys know so the story is a uh, girl is being sacrificed to the king of beasts but then she finds out that he is very different from what people describe so of course since he is the king or the demon king as some would say is that he's very scary or he's he's like uh, ruthless but you know in reality he's just a softy inside and he only, he only he only has this like tough guy facade so that to keep the peace in order for that the people the humans and the monsters or the humans and the beast would have like a peace going on because now this is the spoiler because he is half human and half beast so whenever like the smog or the mist that surrounds the territory of the monsters disappears he loses his monster powers and then he becomes human that is that happens in the sacrificial night on the first episode so everything is revealed in the first episode and just look how different he looks like mm, who could not like that right so very different and of course um you'll also get to meet other characters and what i like is that you know they still use the like monster appearances so she gets a best friend who is a lizard man or a lizard woman and there are also this is the general and this is anubis the king's chancellor or advisor and this is the king so it still has a lot going on and you know i'm very enthusiastic about it i want to read the manga give it a try bye